ALTAR is an acronym for Anthropological Laboratory for Tropical Audiovisual Research. And what it is primarily is a research group made up of anthropologists and linguists. Um, we also have a seminar group and we also do ethnographic film screenings that are open to the public. Ultimately, we aim to bring forth the lived experience of fieldwork and reflection upon it through integrating the textual and the audiovisual to invoke multiple ways of knowing. My name is Bård Rydland Oberge. Um, I'm from Norway. Uh, I first came here 13 years ago to, did, to do my master's research with the Gugujalanji people. Um, when I started my PhD, I asked the people what they would like to get out of it and uh, they thought about it and what they came up with was they wanted to film and make a DVD. They wanted their stories recorded. The film that we're making uh, is called Country, Ancestors and Man, Dreams and Visions of Roy Gibson. My name is Roy Gibson, born and bred in Mossman Gorge, and I'm a Yalangi person from, the, from this area. So I'm going to tell you about my dream. What this dream is all about. It's about going to a beautiful country, feeling that presence and sleeping, and then you are in that, in that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful path of that dream. And that dream is that, it's, that dream is the story of that, that place on your country. Yes, you gotta take that one because that's how I felt it. Dreams work in a mysterious way, but in my dream, I'll go with my ancestors and I, I, I dream I dream on country. The double double the spirits, they are there that you and I can't see. The world we're all there. And, but they're gonna judge you if you are the right person to give that, that dream. And if that dream come into you and they take you away from the dream, that's your dream. And tell that to someone. Give that to someone and make it, make it alive again. That's what the old people will give it to you for. And what our vision, I think, I speak for the both of us, is to develop an appreciation for the role that dreams has in, in Yalanji uh, life uh, and how it, it is actually a different way of knowing to what you're accustomed with in, in Western science and in the academia. So I think that's really what we're trying to bring across is this different epistemology, this dif different way of knowing. Uh, and, and making people appreciate that difference. One of the, the benefits of Alta is, hey, uh, the possibility of, of videos that I've recorded in a somewhat amateur style being uh, edited by people with real skills about how to present visual information in an interesting fashion and a more professional way. And then uh, I could use this uh, material for teaching, particularly in myth and ritual. Um, which is a subject that looks at a religious ritual and this uh, film is about a religious ritual, a mourning uh, ceremony for someone who's died. does, I think film, it just gives you so much information and concretizes it in a way that makes it accessible to the students. Uh, uh, yeah, a completely different experience to reading a text. So Alta offers up that promise of further works being developed by postgraduate students and the possibility of then later, if not this year, next year, deploying some of those resources, both the students' knowledge and the video in undergraduate teaching. And my interest for video documentation was born on 2011 during my master thesis on the fieldwork. I edited a DVD that could be used as a teaching resource uh, for the teaching of, uh, of indigenous language in the, in the village and also as a documentation of relevant cultural practices. Hello, 
My name is Chiara Bersciani. I'm a PhD student here at JCU at the Keynes Institute. My theory of study is the Wave area in southern Mexico and I research on issues of agency and local narratives. So during my next stay on the field in 2014 for my PhD, I will uh, um, shoot relevant cultural practices and uh, will use them not just for documentation but also for, uh, as a tool for ethnographic research. The Altar Group, which I'm a member of, has inspired me to collect numerous audiovisual materials in Amazonia. My name is Kasia Wojtylak and I'm a PhD student in Anthropological Linguistics at the Language and the Culture Research Center at the Karens Institute. I work with the Witoto Murui people, a South American indigenous group from Northern Amazonia. The modern Witoto people, um, especially the children, um, that already, that the majority of them already lost the language, um, what they really love is, uh, is TV, is uh, films um, and those kind of digital materials. By creating an ethnographic film, um, we are hoping to spark uh, interest in the, in the young people um, to actually become interested in their own culture. ALTER is a very important initiative of our postgraduate students here at James Cook University. I'm an anthropologist, my name is Rosita Henry. Um, I've been interested in uh, the visual dimensions of uh, research or ethnographic research for a long time. However, I'm not a visual anthropologist. I wouldn't call myself a visual anthropologist. Uh, I'm just an anthropologist who has been doing field work for a while and over the years have, um, I've noticed how anthropologists have increasingly uh, incorporated um, film, and audio, other audio techniques into their um, recording of uh, you know, cultural matters and cultural events and so on. So in the past anthropologists used to have, uh, rely on filmmakers or experts to come into the field with them to actually record. But these days with the advances in digital technologies, we go into the field as we do as kind of lone researchers and uh, we're able to uh, take in technology very easy sort of video cameras and so on uh, and we increasingly use that uh, technology to document um, the things we see, uh, what people say and so on. And audio visual technology is particularly important to us because it enables us to capture things that we otherwise would not be able to capture very well in a sense that we used to take field notes or we still do take lots of field notes but to be able to capture the colours, the sights, the sounds, the, you know, almost the smells <laughs> um, of the, the world around us, uh, the symbolic value of things that we might otherwise miss. So we can bring what we record into the field back and then do analysis on this um, outside of the field context. Uh, I myself have been doing research in uh, Papua New Guinea, in the highlands, western highlands of Papua New Guinea, and uh, recently I filmed, uh, I spent two full days filming uh, a bride price ceremony. This uh, was not something that I filmed because I'm a filmmaker or because, you know, I intended to make a film. It was part of my recording of that event for research purposes, but also my recording of that event for the purposes of the family so that I could return something to the family for their generosity in, in accepting me into their fold and uh, accepting me as a researcher. So I was filming for them, but in the process they also then said, well, why don't you make a film, you know, and so they've encouraged me to actually try and use the footage that I took for research purposes to make that into a film. So Altar and its importance for university, I think, is uh, to offer different perspective, perspectives and different ways to look at our research and how we share the outcomes with the people as well as wider public and other academics. That was also something what inspired Altar, I think, is sharing with the people more than what we do. When we compare the written accounts and books to which people could not really relate, they can much easier relate to audiovisual medium. Hello, my name is Daniela Vavrova. My field site where I do research is in Papua New Guinea with Karavari speaking 
people of Ambonwari village in East Epic province. I went there first time in 2005 and I continued my research until present. I did my MA as well as PhD at this place. And from the beginning I was focused on the use of audiovisual media and doing anthropological research. And as a chairman of Altar, I would like to stimulate more debates about the use of audiovisual media in our research. I am glad that we have opportunity to screen ethnographic films once a month with a particular theme and the films that are not normally reachable and watchable. Ethnographic films stand somewhere in between independent filmmaking and the documentary genre. It's a combination where we get immersed with people in their everyday life and uh, we try to portray this everyday life in a way that is not staged, it's not intrusive and it leaves the viewer to make his or her own opinion about that environment. I am also helping uh, professors in anthropology to edit their audiovisual recordings that will be included whether in teaching or in their outcomes, as well as I would like to create a group of researchers to have discussions about the use of audiovisual media, the ethical aspects of them and uh, leading to kind of seminars that would be prospective for students. The film I made with my thesis is called Skin Has Eyes and Ears, which, uh, which means that the body sees and hears, literally. It's uh, about senses and perception of environment which in Papua New Guinea and concretely the settings where I was is very different to European environment or Australian environment. So my intention was to bring this through to the public and to the audience how people actually deal and perceive their environment. <laughs> Make a sick out of work, out of work, out of work, make a sick. Watch out, I'm gonna meet up with a bull. ยังเคยโอนี่ยังเคยกอดนะวันนี้ก็ไปดีกว่าวันนี้อุ้ยวันนี้สิงหาตัวเสมอนะอุ้ยเดี๋ยวกันเดี๋ยวกันจะเป็